Rachmaninoff did not like writing piano miniatures. There is neither beauty nor joy in this occupation, he complained to a friend in 1910. He felt that in his concerti, there were many places that were written in a single breath, with a single brush stroke, whereas in these short piano pieces, everything required hard and meticulous work. But luckily for us, he persevered and wrote a large number of them, leaving us some of his strongest, most memorable music. The famous Bells of Moscow, for example, or the catchy and immediately gripping G minor prelude. And also the prelude I would like to talk about, the one in B minor. From the very beginning you are struck by its mood, somber, solemn, subdued. This measured alternation between the melody and the chords below creates an almost hypnotic effect. This melody is so simple, each group swinging between only two notes. And the harmonies are utterly simple too, yet what a powerful mood and atmosphere it creates. Later, this subdued mood is cast away. As a kid, I couldn't get enough of the development section. The huge build-up and the moment when the almost unbearable tension erupts in an unstoppable march of chords, which just keep climbing ever higher. lifeless aftermath. And in the end, a coda, which to me sounded like steps receding into the distance. found out the prelude was not abstract music. Rachmaninoff's inspiration was a painting by Arnold Böcklin called The Homecoming or The Return. This, to me at least, completely changed the music. This wasn't a funeral procession, as I had previously imagined, but a musical scene showing something which is normally a happy event. But why then was the music so tragic? The painting, of course, itself is very ambiguous. It does not show a happy reunion, but just a single man looking down onto a lit house and the name, The Homecoming, is like a cleverly chosen catalyst, making our imagination explode with possibilities and interpretations. And I think that Rachmaninoff's prelude is one such interpretation. I see it as a masterful musical portrayal of the inner world of a man to whom the homecoming is anything but simple and obvious. The present scene seems to evoke painful memories, to raise painful thoughts. We can imagine any background story we wish, but this great tumult of chords seems to speak of a great inner turmoil.
Then those thoughts or memories evaporate, leaving him at the present scene where it all began. I still think of the music as depicting steps that recede into the distance. But whether the man takes those steps to approach the house or to turn away from it is of course left to us. This, for me, shows yet another facet of Rachmaninoff's talent as a very keen observer of the human soul who also had the great gift to encapsulate it in music. Mm -hmm. 